Hey guys, I'm back with Lucy. It's been ages, but I've had a baby since last seeing her. Mm -hmm. And I thought it would be a really good idea to do a postpartum workout routine that we could share with you guys because obviously Lucy has all of the expertise and I actually have got a three finger gap so I have the diastasis recti I knew it was going to come and bite me in the bum after <laughs> four kids so I thought it would be really cool if we could show you guys our routine this is what Lucy has kind of um, prepared for me and to kind of help get that gap closed and also their exercises that it's like a cardio workout. You can do it in 10 minutes. You can do it while your baby sleeps. So this should be really good for all new mums. And it's all the safe exercises to do. Yes. We're avoiding doing all the things that most new mums do, which is the worst thing when they want to get their abs back, is they do crunches and they do things like plank, which we're not going to be doing yeah. any of. I'm going to get my timer, because actually we're going to do seven moves, which are the standing ones, and we're going to do them for one minute each exercise, as simple as that. So the first one we are going to do is that double leg lift. So we're just going to stand and do one, two but we're going to add it make it a little bit harder once we've got our balance and we're going to pull the arms down we do two each leg and then alternate so we'll go starting now we we'll do that for one minute so the key thing with this and um, what i wanted to do is create a workout routine that is one going to increase your calorie burn that's going to make you feel energized make you feel strong tone you up but most importantly that isn't going to aggravate that separation which is really important when you're looking at doing your cardio so whilst you're doing this exercise, just be really aware and think about keeping the belly button pulled in tight to the spine. So what we're doing is, and I'm going to mention it a lot throughout this video, we're going to be working the transverse abdominis. That is the most important muscle to be working if we really want to get that separation drawn back because it is your deep core muscle. So we've still got another 20 seconds to go with this. So we draw the arms down, knee comes up. So this is a bit like doing a standing abdominal exercise. And actually the best way to do stand, uh, the best way to do abs is funny enough, standing up because you have more control and it's also really good because we're working balance, flexibility, lots of other things. Okay, so that's the first exercise done. We're gonna move on to the second one. So this one, we're gonna lift the booty and we're gonna lift the bust at the same time. So we are literally going to be like this, I'm going to step on the side and we're just going to open and close through the arms and just squeeze tight through the bottom as you lift. That's good and again we're consistently making sure that we're keeping those tummy muscles pulled in tight. And this one's really nice as well, especially if you're breastfeeding, it's really good to help lift the bust and try and focus on keeping the elbows at shoulder height. So with this one, again, just be really aware. Keep thinking. The main thing to do throughout this workout is just think. And imagine you've got a bit of blue tack on your tummy button and you're trying to stick it to your spine. That's quite a good visualization. Yeah. <laughs> and squeeze that through. All right, so we've got 20 seconds to go. And also really squeeze it up so you can feel that in the bottom as you lift that behind. Good. So my timing might be a little bit out, but the aim is to do each move for one minute. All right, let's go last 10 seconds, squeezing that through and back. And then we've got last five and let's go four, take it three, two and one. So the next move we're doing is we're going to do that curtsy. So that's where we've got arms coming up and over. That's it, you've got it straight away. Perfect. So this one, I'll move out the way so you've got more room to do that in. Well done. And taking it over. So this is a really lovely dynamic move here. So the benefit here, normally what Anna and I used to do is we would do this exercise where it's a little bit more challenging, where we were doing it like this. We're doing it yeah. coming down, but we want to avoid that at the moment because primarily, as I said, we're working on that separation. So by keeping nice and upright, means we're not pushing any of those abdominal muscles through the separation and we're working on building that strong core. So let's just keep that going. And taking it up and over, nice control. And if you want to work it a little bit harder, you can take it a little bit deeper. Take that bend down and nice control with the arms. So you're really adding resistance as you take those arms up and over. So we're gonna go another 20 seconds on there. How's that feeling? Yeah, good, yeah. And you know, what we were saying when we were doing the first round of this 
This is something that you could do if you just put your baby down, but you don't want to leave the room, but you're trying to get them to sleep. This is going to be quiet, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. You know, because we're not pointing up and down. <laughs> And reaching that over. All right, let's go last 10 seconds. Nice control, reach it up. And again, keep thinking, belly button tight to the spine. And look at that timer. And we're gonna go last five. Take it four, and go three, two, and one. Okay, so the next move we're doing, move number four, we're gonna do pelvic floor, and we're gonna do a plie squat. So we've got the feet now nice and wide, toes are out and we're just literally going to come down and come up. Now that's good, we can do arms definitely, let's add in some arms. I'm so, doing my pregnancy yeah, work here. That's good. So the key thing here with this and what we can add in, because obviously now we're still keeping that upper body nice and straight, which means then again we're working through those core muscles. You can add in um, the Kegel exercises. So just think, pull up. So just imagine this, if we're mid P and we're like holding. And just by doing that then, it means we're gonna be working through the pelvic floor. And we're also adding the arms, we're working through the thighs, working through the bottom, and we're still working on those abdominals. Keeping that going. So your feet out, 45 degree angle. And also notice what we're doing here, we're not doing like a squat where we bend forward, we're keeping that upper body completely straight, which is really important to do. We're gonna go another 20 seconds. That's good. <clears throat> okay, so would you say you're feeling a little bit out of breath? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> good. All right, well done, and let's keep it going. And because we're not counting reps, we're just going on time base. We can really take our time and make sure we're doing really good quality exercises on here. And let's go last five seconds. Five, take it four, and go three, two, and one. All right, so next one we're gonna do, we're gonna walk feet in a little bit, and we're now gonna do punching arms. So we're gonna do 15 seconds straight in front, and then from there, I can test my here, coordination. I can look at my phone for the, um, and then the next 15, we're taking them up. So with this one, while you're doing this, just be really aware that you keep the hips still. Tummy is tight, so we're going really pulling that in. Let's now get ready and punch the arms up. So we're just making it a little bit harder. And this one is really nice because you're going to be sculpting through your arms. You're also then, when you come across, we're working through the waist. That's it. That's good. Keeping that going. Let's now, for 15 seconds, let's now bring the arms across and so now we're coming back, so we're lowering them, but let's really emphasize on going from one side to the other. And keep imagining we're trying to draw the belly button tight to the spine. Even think about those Kegel floor exercises you were doing during pregnancy. It's so important to do them afterwards. And just keep that nice and tight. And let's get ready, last 15 seconds, punching it up nice and high. And then just got two more exercises to go. That's good. And let's go for it. Last five. Take it five, four, go three, two, and one. Okay, so the next one's quite tough. If you find this hard with balance, then you could have a chair or do it by wall. So we're going to stand on one leg and we're literally just going to drive the leg up and take it back. Now, Anna's quite fit and strong, but if you are new to this, do this one for 30 seconds. What you could do is you could place one hand on the tummy so you just make sure that you're not letting those muscles push forwards on that. And the benefit here, again, this is really good cardio. You're strengthening through the legs, you're working through the glutes, you're actually working both legs. The one way you feel it in, funny enough, most of all, is the standing one. So you'll really feel that through there. And let's keep going for another five seconds. Five, take it four, go three, two, and one. Let's change now, take that to the opposite leg. And so we're driving that up. So again, tummy is tight. We're in time. <laughs> we should be on strict <laughs> <laughs> no. Good. So again, and you'll really feel this one working. This is a really good cardio exercise, but it's so important. Just keep making sure for me you're keeping that pulled in as tight as you can. That's good. We've got 15 seconds left to go. Okay, that's good. And I'll count you down. Last 10. Let's go 10. 8. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, well done. So, last one we're going to do is lunges. 
So what we decided, instead of doing forward lunges, we're gonna reverse that and take that to backward lunges. That's where it's much better for that separation. We'll do that for a minute and we can add in the arms. So let's take it back. That's good, alternating, set that timer on there. So key thing with lunges, we wanna make sure, and this is where it's far better doing them in this position than coming forwards because you don't allow the knee to come over the line of the toes because we're taking it behind. Keep the upper body nice and straight. Really good. Okay, that's it. And would you say here as well, would you say you're feeling a little bit more challenged? Yeah, that's yeah it. perfect. It's not hurting my back. No, okay, which is really good. And that's where it's important always, obviously, listen to your body. And because we're stepping back, that's where it's really good. We're not gonna let those um, muscles, again, through the abdominals push through, which is so important keeping that nice and controlled. All right, that's good. So we've got last 30 seconds to go. And by adding in the arms, if you wanted to make this a little bit harder, you could then do it where you take the arms up and over, up and down, and good. All right, then let's go. Last 15 seconds from now, take it back. So this one here is total body move, and it's the last one from the standing part of the routine. And let's go last five, take it four, go three, two, and one. One more. Okay, feel a little bit out of breath? Yeah. Feel like you've done something? Yeah. Perfect. So what we'll do now, we're gonna come down onto the floor to now really kind of like isolate. So now we're gonna bring the calorie burn completely down. This is purely now about really drawing that back. So the first exercise we're gonna start with, we're just gonna first of all just do a basic pelvic tilt. So this is where literally, and we're just doing all of them, we're doing reps of 10. So you're just gonna tilt the pelvis, and then we're gonna slowly tilt it back the opposite way. And this is really good here to help mobilize through this area. And back. And again, just count yourself, you're doing 10. So we're just really loosening up through this area. And whilst you're doing this one as well, just be aware again of doing those Kegel exercises. And you see you've got a really good range of motion there, which is brilliant as well. And this will really help with your back and everything. Yeah. And, uh, what number we want? 10. So from there, next one we're gonna do is what I call a single leg opener. So bring your feet in a little bit closer. So when you're doing this at home, just make sure you've got them about hip width distance apart. And all I want you to do is take, allow one leg just to drop out to the side as far as feels comfortable for you. You hold it there and now in your mind, think of your inner thigh muscle on the leg that's extended out and your pelvic floor and your abdominals and you're gonna use those muscles to draw that leg back up. So it's all about keeping those tummy muscles in tight. So it's now belly button tight to the spine as you lift that leg back up and you're alternating from one leg to another. Again, with this one, you're going for doing 10 repetitions. And the great thing with this, as well on here, you'll feel that through the inner thigh. Yeah. So we're working through that adductor muscle at the same time. So going to take it out. And again, so just, and this is where it's so important when you're exercising, really think about the muscles you're working. It's quite easy just to let the leg flop out and just like pull it up, whereas instead, we're kind of gonna allocate the muscles that we want to, to work and do that specific exercise, which for this is again, that transverse abdominus, and pelvic floor. Yeah, and just out to the side. You know, so many people will be tempted. First thing they want to do is get their abs back and they go on the floor doing the crunches. Yeah. But the worst thing is with that, if you think where you've got that separation, if you don't work those deepest muscles, the other muscles push through and you make that gap worse and worse. And that's why women can then end up having that kind of that. Yeah, but yeah, so yeah. we're gonna stop that. <laughs> so the next one we're gonna do, this time now, I want you just to place your fingertips around your hip bones. And actually this is a really good way to test that you are activating this muscle. Dig them in as deep as you can, but keep your tummy relaxed. And now what I want you to do is now put your belly button in really tight to your spine. Can you feel that kind of fibrous yeah, band? Nice. You can yeah. feel that muscle, can't you? So now you know that's activated, keep that, those muscles engaged and very slightly lift one heel off the ground for me. It's just so hard. It's really hard and then take it back down. But if it feels too hard that you feel 
that it's too much on those muscles. No, it's just it's I can okay. feel it. You can feel it. That's good. And back down. That's it. And we're just going to lift. So again, you've got to really make sure as long as you're working that muscle, that's fine because then it means that is the recruited muscle we're using for that specific abdominal exercise. And lift that up and then back. And you know, it's so funny, so years and years, women will be doing the plank which then pushes those muscles apart even further. Then they could be doing crunches, which yeah. again just enhances that separation. And what we're doing completely opposite, we're gonna knit those muscles back. That's good, what number are you on? That's eight. Let's go one more. So again, tummy is really tight, and we lift, and lower, and last one, is it tight, and lift up. Okay, now bring the feet back in a little bit, and draw them in a little bit closer. Now we're going to go for just doing a basic bridge. So what I want you to do through your heels is now push your hips up as high as you can. Squeeze tight so you can work through the glutes at the same time. So this one is really lovely if you really want to work through the bottom and we're working through those abdominals. Again, we're not putting any pressure on that separation. So it's a really safe exercise. We're doing 10 of these. And just draw it up and then lower that down. And again, drive it up and think about the areas that we're working. Breathe it up as high as you can and just hold. And this also gives you a really nice stretch through the hip flexor as you extend up. So we're just opening up through here. And back, up, that's good. What number are we on? And let's do it. Always come in at eight. <laughs> one. And there we go, one more. And lift that up. Okay, that's good. And now from there, next one we're gonna do, let's just extend the leg further away, out straight. And again, place those fingertips around the hip bones, dig them in, relax, and now let's activate that muscle so we can feel it jump out. Now if you can, just lift that leg off the ground for me, and now lower it back down. Now this is quite hard, we're gonna go four more. If it feels too much, then we'll just rest and we're just gonna go three. As long as you can feel that really working, you can feel that muscle contracted. And let's go two more on there, lift that two, and back, and then let's go last one. Okay, and release. Now bend that knee, and let's just take that opposite leg out. So again, tummy tight, and you can always relax in between the sets and between the transitions of changing exercises. Up. So again, tummy is tight, and we're just lifting. This is also really nice for through the front of the thigh. You don't have to lift the leg too high. And three, and let's go two more on there. Up two, and then we're gonna go last one. And coming up. Okay, and now just draw that leg in for me. So we're gonna finish the last exercise. Is where you are gonna keep the heel on the floor, but you're gonna slide one leg out completely straight. Hold it there, and now I think everything is tight in the tummy as you draw that leg back up. Then take it to the opposite leg and slide it out. And then draw that back in, that's good. And then take it out, three, and back. And in your mind, it's so important, like your mind works so well with your muscles. Whilst you're doing this, just visualize how that separation is gonna draw closer and closer together, because that helps to really engage those muscles. I think people really forget how important the mind is when you're doing it. That's it, so we'll just finish once we've done those 10. So again, nice control, draw it out, then draw it in, controlling that ball from that anchor muscle, which is, as we know, the deepest abdominal muscle. It's like a fibrous band that wraps around through your middle. Is that eight? Or ten. <laughs> <laughs> out, talking too much. There we are. So that is your workout complete. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope it helped. Also, it should go without saying, but obviously make sure to get the all clear from your doctor or your midwife first. Um, you should be at least six weeks postpartum to do this workout, but I'm seven weeks now, so I'm really looking forward to getting back into it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe to Lucy's channel for more. The link will be in the description box below. And we will see you again in a couple of weeks. Bye. Bye.